Welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. In this journey, we will grow cauliflower from seeds. Cauliflower is high in vitamin C and K and also contains fiber, potassium, and folate. Cauliflower grows best in cool temperatures between 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but I live in an area where the coolest average temperature is warm at around 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that happens during the months of December until February. Nevertheless, I still wanted to try growing hydroponic cauliflower, knowing that the harvest will probably be with smaller cauliflower heads. So let's start. As always, we begin with sterilizing the cocoa peat to help prevent the spread of harmful pathogens. You can do this by microwaving the cocoa peat for three to five minutes or by pouring boiling water over the cocoa peat. When the cocoa peat has cooled down, squeeze out the excess water and place it on your seedling container. Moisten the cocoa peat with distilled water or treated water. In my area, our tap water has chlorine, so before using water in hydroponics, I place the tap water on an open container for at least a day so that the chlorine can evaporate. Spread out the cauliflower seeds and spray them with your treated water. And then, cover them with cocoa peat. Spray the cocoa peat one last time. I also like to place a cover on top to maintain the moisture and I also use weights like these to help press the seeds onto the moist cocoa peat. Then I place the container inside a box and wait for the seeds to germinate. On the fourth day, the seeds have sprouted so I bottom feed them with treated water and then I place the container two to three inches under my LED grow lights. These grow lights are your ordinary LED ceiling lights that give out around 16 watts or around 2,500 lumen and over 5,000 Kelvin. This is the fifth day followed by the seventh day. Make sure your cocoa peat remains moist but not drenched with the treated water. Just bottom feed them when necessary. On the 10th day, I notice a third leaf growing. So from here onwards, we bottom feed with nutrient solution. The nutrient solution I'm using is an international brand called Master Blend. Here's the formula I used, and I also made sure that the pH level is between six to seven. Day 16, I decided to transplant the seedlings to their own containers. To hold the seedling like a net cup, I use a recycled 8 ounce cup whose bottom holes and lower side holes are made using a soldering iron. I filled the cups with cocoa peat and dug a hole in the middle and carefully transferred the seedling. To hold a nutrient solution, I'm recycling a 2-liter container that used to hold orange juice. I just cut out the top to fit the 8-ounce cup. And I mark the level where the edge of the net cup is with a blue line. The 2-liter container is also wrapped with aluminum foil to prevent outside light from passing through which can cause algae to grow inside. Fill the 2-liter container with nutrient solution until it touches a little above the net cup, or that's the blue line, so that the cocoa peat will remain moist. Check the level of the nutrient solution every 2-3 to three days to make sure that it touches the edge of the net cup.
When the roots are plenty and long, like this cauliflower which is on day 36, the nutrient solution can now be filled 2 to 3 inches below the blue line. This method is called the Kratky method. When the roots are short, the nutrient solution is placed on the edge of the net cup. But when the roots are long, the nutrient solution is placed lower so that half of the roots are exposed to air, the other half or bottom half are drinking the nutrient solution. On day 44, I had to transfer the cauliflowers outside my bedroom because they were getting too tall for my bookshelf. On day 74, I was very happy to see a small head in one plant coming out. And as the days passed, the other plants showed small cauliflower heads. When the cauliflower heads are over an inch wide, I read that you had to cover the head because direct sunlight causes it to turn yellow and this slightly alters the flavor. You can use the cauliflower's own leaves to cover the head, so I use a Velcro tie to do this, or you can also use a clothespin to help fasten the leaves. On day 100, I decided that it was time to begin harvesting on some of the plants. You'll know when the cauliflower is ready to harvest when the heads begin to separate. Now, my cauliflower heads are not huge, but well, it's expected for my area. Don't throw away the leaves because they can be used as a salad. The leaves have a mild taste and are crunchy, but I prefer to cook them and I add them to fried rice, for example. So here's my recipe for cooking fried rice with cauliflower leaves. So there you have it, growing cauliflower from seeds. Thank you for watching Journey to Hydroponics. Till our next video, bye-bye.